Three people are hurt in Dry Ridge, Kentucky today after a blast inside an apartment there. Emergency crews responded to the building on McCoy Road shortly after 11 a.m. Local 12's Joe Webb joins us live with some new information on what firefighters believe may have sparked this explosion. Joe. Well, Kit, if you take a look at the damage, and we're going to show you in just a second, you're, you'll have to agree that the people in this apartment complex here in Dry Ridge are really fortunate that no one was killed. Cleanup crews have been working throughout the afternoon to try and secure the apartment and an adjacent apartment that were damaged. It looks like at this point, three men and a woman will be facing a variety of charges because a lot of people were put at risk during this explosion. Children were put at risk, including a child who was in the apartment at the time of the explosion. Police say this is what can happen when you try to make drugs in the bathroom of an apartment. A few minutes before 11, Locust Ridge Apartments in Dry Ridge shook. Neighbors heard an explosion and flying glass. Christy Montgomery was right next door. These guys were running out, just covered in blood, flesh hanging, cussing each other. Why did you do that, you idiot? You know, and I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, there's kids in there. Is something else going to explode? You know, what should I do? The damage was already done. The explosion blew out the rear wall of an apartment. It blew loose the bedroom wall of a one-year-old boy who was unharmed. Shards of glass went flying and stuck in a nearby privacy fence. Three men were transported to hospitals. The sheriff says they were making butter, a crude way of turning marijuana into hashish. It's actually uh, extracting the THC from the marijuana, which gives it a 99.5% purity of THC, so it can be used in anything, food, drinks, uh, to enhance that, that high they're looking for. Uh, during the process, you use butane uh, to make this product. Uh, while they were doing that, they lit a cigarette, caused the explosion. Police removed guns and a few pounds of marijuana. They are consulting with the prosecutor on charges. It's the county's first taste of butter. They originally thought they were responding to a meth lab. Meth, hash, whatever it be, obviously, it's dangerous and it shouldn't be around children. Now, Dry Ridge police say the three men will likely f face wanton endangerment and criminal mischief charges. We do have the names of the three men now. 22-year-old Zachary Kennedy, 27-year-old Jared Browning, and 30-year-old Jeffrey Combs, all from Grant County, all in the Dry Ridge and Williamstown area. Kit? All right. Thank you, Joe. And there is no word yet on the conditions of those three people who were injured.